Hi folks, meteorologist Ryan Hoke here with the latest on this morning's rainfall and this afternoon's severe weather threat. Let's get you right to the radar view. As of just before 10 o'clock this morning, the heaviest rainfall is going to be across the eastern portions of our viewing area. You see Shelby County, Spencer County, Bullitt, all underneath those yellows right now, extending on into the Radcliffe area there in E-Town. Some heavier rain also moving through, as well as the Harrison County area. This is all moving off to the east and to the south. We'll be getting this out of here by the noontime hour, but really that's not good news because we're going to have all this area out here to be under for potentially the afternoon hours. There are some high clouds in here. Hopefully that will be the case possibly some low clouds as well. We want that to insulate us and to keep us from getting that sunshine that we might see this afternoon. If we do get that sunshine, that's going to be an increased potential for instability for this afternoon and evening severe weather event. Let's talk about the rainfall we've had this morning. First, flooding rainfall along and north of the Ohio River in some places up to 2.4 inches reported there on our accumulation view. And this picture sent in to us by Lana Fleck in New Albany on Facebook. Thanks for sending that in. You can obviously see quite a bit of rain and water on the roadway there, on that parking lot. You never know just how deep it is, like, say, for this area right here. So, as we say, turn around, don't drown. And luckily, these flooding rains will be out of the area, at least for this purpose, as we go throughout the morning hours. Here's the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. They've expanded the high risk to include just about all of Indiana. The rest of us in a moderate risk of severe weather. High risk is very rare for this time of year. And, of course, only a few folks in southern Indiana really not in this at this point, and the rest of us inside this red moderate risk area. The highest tornado potential is going to be where you do see that purple high risk because that's where the highest instability and all those factors will be coming together to produce that threat. Let's take you through Futurecast, show you that it actually does have an area of clearing here around noontime. I think that area may be even bigger than what it's advertising and then by the 3 o'clock hour, we've got these little miniature pop-up storms. Some of these could be supercells between 3, 4, 5, maybe even 6 o'clock, and they would bear with them the threat of tornadoes because by their nature, supercells rotate, and that's not a very good thing. We don't want to see that, but that is certainly potential, especially with more instability. Then we would get the line of storms through here, say, between 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the Louisville area. It would be completely out of Kentuckiana by about 10 o'clock, and then we'd see dropping temperatures clearer weather, and cooler air moving into the region. Here's the main storm timeline between 12 and 3. The storms will be exiting. We'll see that potential clearing. It will be windy, though. After 11 o'clock this morning, we're under a wind advisory. Gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour, and that's outside of thunderstorms. Higher gusts inside of those, of course. Supercell thunderstorms would develop between 3 and 6, and there's potential for tornadoes with those. And then between 6 and 10, the main line of storms with the damaging wind threat would move through. In order, here are the lists of threats we're monitoring. Damaging winds. This could be a widespread damaging wind event. A few tornadoes are certainly possible, especially with those supercells mid to late afternoon. But we can't rule up a few spin-ups within the line of thunderstorms that would be moving through as well. And then the heavy rainfall potential, which we've really already seen today. And we don't really want any more of that rainfall, but that is a possibility. We go throughout the afternoon and evening. We are constantly updating things on Twitter, on Facebook. Of course, Wave3.com is updated. We're going to be doing half-hour updates on Wave3 News, so turn on your TV. You'll see us. We'll keep you updated with the latest as we go throughout the day. For now, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke.